Hello friends, welcome back to Dark Souls. We have obtained a helper. Who hopefully won't get himself killed. We see our first silver knight. And we take out our first silver knight. Apparently he'd like us to go in here. Through the illusory wall. Down the staircase. Where we will obtain... Havel's armour. We've not met Havel yet, actually. Oh, he's going after the mimic. Well, he's not doing a lot of damage, but we've obtained Havel's full set. And we will obtain the Divine Club, or Cult Club, sorry, not Divine Club. We can downgrade it to a Divine Club. So this is the summon system within the game. I've summoned, funnily enough, his name is basically Summon, with a letter changed and an I added. And this is Unknown. Hmm. Presumably their name will appear. I would like to get a couple of helpers for the boss fight coming up. He's off attacking a silver knight again. And this appears to be Phantom Doctor Woohoo. Hello, Doctor Woohoo. Seems slightly better equipped than the other guy. But he has taken out the silver knight, so we'll take three sunlight medals. Now. We're going to go up the stairs here. And we're going to attempt the shortcut. Nailed it. They've gone the other way, however, which could be slightly problematic for me. Was a good dodge. That was a shot through some stairs. This is how to fight Silver Knights, by the way. Oh. Don't get hit by their shield. Just block, attack, block. Block, attack. Block. If they miss, attack again. We're doing this to unlock the shortcut. It's not much of a shortcut because there is a separate shortcut where you dive off the staircase as I did, but... Why won't... This guy will not allow me to backstab him. No. Well, that was very close. I don't want to waste my humanity, so I'll take a couple of Estus. Leaving me with a measly two. We'll take the Silver Knight set. Which is my favourite armour in the game.
And this is the shortcut. So we're back in the room with... Well, the one leading to the illusory wall, where we get Havel set from. I think we can pretty much just go for this. Oh, it's actually a little too heavy for us at the moment, so... If I remember rightly, this looks quite good. Yeah. Status. Status is fine. Ah! One of our phantoms has been destroyed. This is both problematic and fine. Because we could do with getting some Estus anyway. Doctor Who is back already. Hmm. We'll separate from Somion just now. We'll quickly rest. I think I will actually use my last humanity to kindle this bonfire. We could probably afford three levels. Just. Okay, I think the unknown is just the game, um, or Steam rather, loading up the players' names. CCF Murray. And it would be good if, yeah, we have Clockwork. So this is just the fluidity of the game in motion. Um, we were playing with two guys a minute ago. We're, well, now playing with a different guy and hopefully another one popping into our world. Yeah, CCF Murray. Now this looks more like a team. One of them wearing stone armor. That's unusual at best. Ah, the triple team. <laughs> triple teaming enemies in the game is, well, it's a way to get by. <laughs> so we have full health, we have 10 Estus. I'd say we're in good shape. Now, would one of the, these guys like to go for... No, I'm going for it then. There's a lever here. Push the lever and we'll open the large doors out into Anorlondo again. Meanwhile, we'll try to avoid the giants. Wrath of the Gods. I forgot they had that. Give ourselves and Clockwork a little bit of a heal here. Take out first giant. Run through and we'll take out the second one all going well. Well, that didn't go well. Thank you. Pop a 
couple more Estus. Everyone at full health. Silver Knight up there, that clockwork just killed. And it's time for Small and Ornstein. Executioner Ornstein, e Executioner Small, and Dragon Slayer Ornstein. Uh, that was a fairly bad dodge. You better take the heal. Again, no dodge. We can fire off a few magics though. And Smo's down. The little bit of damage that was done to Ornstein will now be healed as he gains the power of his fallen comrade. Uh, Small's power is that he's big. So, he gains the power of being big. <laughs> he also gains the absolutely awful jump attack. And a lot of hit points. Oh no. Oh, he's not dead. That's fine. I think I healed quite with decent timing there. When you heal with Estus, um, your summons gain a fraction of that. It's around about half. I'm just going to pepper him with a few more spells. We've lost the summon. We lost CCF Murray. Oh, we're about to lose clockwork as well at this rate. And me, for that matter. That was very close. I'd like to get the hell out of here. I think he's... Yeah, I suspected he's actually invulnerable during that, mo during that attack. Going to be a close fight. The downside to playing with summons in boss fights is the bosses gain 50% uh, more health per summon, and you're allowed a maximum of two summons. So we're fighting Super Ornstein, which is the more difficult of the two supers to fight. Now on our own. Not quite on our own. Oh no.
God damn it. <laughs> I have to make a tough choice here. I have no humanity. Oh, I have no way of going back. Repose from farming to meet Siegmeier again. Whatever can be done. What do you mean, good sir? Ah, you again, let me guess. Were you repelled by the Silver Knight? Ah, oh, don't be ashamed. There's a faker vanguard like you and I. I'll think of something. We can overcome this. Quite a think. You'll need another three no. Maybe five days. Hmm. Quite a fix indeed. Three or five bodies? No, just me. Every time I do this, I feel like I should be shouting Wombo Combo! Okay. Wombo Combo. How dare you! Wombo combo. Let's go and say hi to Siegmeier again. Hmm. 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 Oh ho! What's on your mind, friend? Wait. You defeated those monsters? Fantastic. I'm saying this knight of Catalina hereby commends you. Take this as a token of my gratitude. We've seen the tiny beings ring. Gallantry entails great risk. Next time, give me a chance to come up with a plan. Which I believe boosts your health slightly. Small increase of HP. Yeah. We don't need that. Yeah, we've Gallantry. exhausted his dialogue. Oh, we got a drop from one of the silver knights. Silver Knight Straight Sword. Actually, very good weapon. I can't remember if it, I don't think it is. No. Two Demon Titanite. Okay.
Okay, now we're back in the initial part of Anna Londo. I'm going to do something I will instantly begin to regret. We're going to take out the Firekeeper. Very well. So be it. Expunging fools like you is part of my charge. I may actually regret it because she might kill me. No, my regret will be because I genuinely really don't like not having a firekeeper in Anor Londo. She's also very, she's very tough. And she can parry, which I forgot about. But how? This man is a threat, Master Gwendolyn. Firekeeper soul and. We're going to head back. In fact, we're just going to Homeward Bone because I don't fancy running through all of those guys again. Really don't want to do this. It could boost my Estus Flask to plus two, but we kind of need the humanity here, and it gives you five humanity. So we're reversing hollowing. And we'll once again build a team to go and hopefully beat Smoan Ornstein. Combo! We have Somi on again. So many fails. Apparently, Somi on has gone from just a regular summon to now being a sun bro. And I swear his summon sign was white the first time we picked him up. I did that off camera though, so I could be wrong. I'd like to close it from the inside, thanks. I will just close the door in case we get invaded. Because at least then I'll know. And we have Somi on again. He's using the Drake Sword and a Kite Shield. It's a strange combination. Uh. <laughs> yeah, something failed. Funny that. <laughs> I'm 
not even slightly surprised. Oh, is this... Sexy Valkyrie. Ooh, <laughs> now we're talking, apparently. Well, Somion's dead. Defeated by Silver Knight. That's, this is what happens when you use the Drake Sword in Anor Londo. You can fully expect to die. Bakodrago. Okay. Or if you like Italian seas, Baccio Drago. He may be Italian, who knows? Let's call him Tony Drago. Any 1990s snooker fans will get that reference. Hello, Tony Drago. Okay, we've had a summoning fail on us, so we'll go for this one. Unknown. I expect this guy to be quite powerful. He has the Crown of Dusk, which boosts sorcery. Quite an insane amount. Let's run around with him. No? Hello, Rohemni. Have a bit of a heal. There we go. Now we can proceed through. I don't have my <laughs> axe equipped. So we're heading on through. We're ideally not dying. Where have my summons gone? Not a great start. Okay. That small circle there. That is... Well, it's kind of irrelevant to us because we don't use miracles. But that actually boosts the power of miracles for an area around. So we're going in with five Estus flasks. And we're instantly being pounced on by Ornstein. And then charged up by Smoo. That was quite a good dodge, actually. Okay, I would like to take Smoo out first, but they seem to be they seem to be feeling Ornstein, so. Okay, Ornstein is gone. I'll continue to dodge small. <laughs> so 
So that means we miss out on the Leo ring, which it's not a huge disadvantage. It's a ring I do tend to use somewhat. It boosts backstab damage. Oh, I thought it is. It's the Hornet ring. I can't remember what the Leo ring does. Oh, that's not good. I kind of need to get out of here. That's better. Before I do anything else, I'm actually going to go collect my humanity and souls. It's actually just souls, but... We seem to be attempting to take small out with magic here, so... do it. So thank you to Rohemni and Tony Drago. Baco Drago. We got a Sunlight Medal because Baco Drago, Tony Drago, whatever his name was. I might know what his name was. It was Baco Drago. But it was Tony Drago. Uh, he was a member of the Sunlight Covenant. And we obtain 50,000 souls, which is good for levelling up. Almost at 35. I am sure I have a soul item. I have two souls of a hero. So, we can now go back to Logan and obtain Soul Spear from him. What is it with this Thou game and giant down, breasts? And overcome much chosen undead. Come hither, child. Hello! Hello, slightly pixelated breasts. I'm going to shoot you now. Don't worry, guys, she's not real. Thou that tarnishest the godmother's image, I am Gwyndolin. Hear me roar. And thy transgression shall not go unpunished. I am Gwyndolin. I am Gwyndolin. I am Gwyndolin. We obtain the Lord Vessel, and with that, we obtain Fast Travel, which cannot, cannot be undervalued. That must have looked like suicide, but... Now, we have a, a rather tough fight here. Against what I sort of assume is a prototype Balder Knight and a prototype Berenique Knight. Sexy Valkyrie has made it down here. We failed to summon Sexy Valkyrie last time. We'll see if it works this time. In the meantime, I'll see if I can get one of these over. No, they've both. <laughs> okay, that's fine.
So this is a Baronic Knight who's still mostly human. Summoning of Sexy Valkyrie failed again. Oh my. Backstab should be enough. Yes. Had the Wombo Combo prepared, just in case. These guys do drop 5,000 souls each, which is good. Um, it's actually worth me taking a summon at this point, so... I'm going to try again. Summoning failed straight away this time. Hmm. We'll take on the slightly easier of the two of these, the Baldur. The fake Baldur Knight. She can parry, or he can. I think it's a female. We can fail to parry. Womble combo. Oh, that's not good. So I did the tough work, defeating Smo and Ornstein. <laughs> and then I beat the Baronique Knight. And then I lost to the easy one. Now, because Anor Londo's dark, we always respawn at this bonfire, and it doesn't work as a bonfire. I am going to need to go back and obtain those humanities. The souls, I could probably live without. It's about 25,000, I think. No, it's maybe about 15,000. I could probably live without them. But for humanities, when I have no hard humanities in my inventory, it is just too much to lose. so imposing. I do love Anna Londo. As much as I hate Anna Londo because it's frighteningly difficult, I do love the place. Bernie Knight is remaining dead. So we're going to go in with Somas. First things first, lest we die again. That's only 12,000 souls. Oh. Goddamn parry merchant. <laughs> to be fair. I'm a magic merchant. <laughs> so that's the those guys gone. Now when we fired an arrow into the boobs of the non existent woman. Okay, the Sunlight Princess. We heard a voice telling us we had tarnished the Godmother's image. The 
So, I guess... We have to be accountable for something. Or, at least we have to be accountable to someone. And that someone... As he did state within the cutscene... That someone is Gwendolyn. Or Spartacus, as I'm making out in my vague attempt at humour. I will rest here. I don't think it'll make a difference. We'll take the Ring of the Sun's Firstborn. Boosts miracles, or number of miracles. One of the two. I think it's boosts the power. And we will traverse the white light and fight Gwyndolin. Heretic. First thou offendest the godmother, and now thou see fit to trample upon the tomb of the great lord. I am the Dark Sun, Gwyndolin. Let the atonement for thy felonies commence it. Okay. Hey, Gwyndolin. He has three attacks. First is which he in which he fires a crossbow at you. The other two in which he fires miracles at you. The miracles can be dodged. This one is a large beam. The other one is similar to what I'm doing now with the homing soul mass. Take a heal. You can tell what he's going to do. He raises up before he does the crossbow. And that's easily dodged. There's a delay before the big beam, and there's no delay before the small ones. I did not mean to jump there. As long as you dodge in a zigzag pattern. Okay, did a good 800 damage there. And we can hide behind a wall and dodge this. As long as we're quick to dodge the follow up attack. Quicker than that to dodge the follow up attack. This is crossbow. This is going to be a fast one. And it's going to kill me because I dodged too early. <sighs> Sorry for the jump cut there. Had a call of nature. So we're going to run back and we're going to fight Gwendolyn again. And we're going to kick his ass this time.
exact some revenge on Gwendolyn. Last fight did not go well. Skip the cutscene because we've seen it. What am I doing? I like it. Okay, it's going to be. Yep. Crossbow. Quick dodge. Quick dodge. Quick dodge. Crossbow again. Okay. That's some decent damage. Crossbow again. And again. And that's Gwendolyn done. Sorry for the lack of commentary there. <laughs> An eternal curse upon thee. I really wasn't liking the idea of Gwendolyn getting me again. So we obtained the soul of Gwendolyn and 40,000 souls. Ah, uh, we may as well go to the end of the corridor, because we can collect some brass armour. From the tomb of the Great Lord. Amazing chest. Hmm. It's so good, there's nothing in it. The Miracle of Sunlight Blade, which we won't use. We don't like miracles here. And the Brass Set. Genuinely a very good looking set. But it's also very heavy. More so, in fact, than the Silver Knight set. Mm, well, parts of it are. That's still going to be a little bit too much, isn't it? have to do for now still. And we're going to head back here and we're going to warp back to Firelink Shrine. Doesn't that make things easier? Hello there. 
What have you been up to? I thought that perhaps you'd gone hollow on me. So have you come to further your study of sorcery? Damn right I have. Heading out, are you? I too will leave soon. Undead or no, I shan't stay here forever. You have great potential. Don't go and die over nothing. Ominous words. Siegmeier has also joined us in Fairlink. I think we need one more intelligence point. Yes, confirm that. And then we can attune our Soul Spear. Only get four charges, but boy is it powerful. Well, fancy meeting you here. You did much for me up above. I am grateful. You know, I was thinking the game, the old falcon. Is that your doing? Yes, yes it was. Yes, I knew it. It seemed like an unlikely coincidence. Well, am I fortunate? This knight of Katarina thanks you sincerely. Please, take this as a token of my gratitude. Thank you. I don't need that, but there you thank are. you anyway. I'll be heading down below shortly. There's nothing worthwhile up above. No worries. Venturing is my life. I'm prepared for the worst. <laughs> so, it's time to end this episode. And from myself and Sigmire. Thank you very much for watching. Next episode will be tidying up a couple of odds and ends and I think going to the catacombs. There are a few ways we can go from here so I'll decide off camera and then we'll see you in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching.